Hey there, this is Josh McGurk with JLM Therapeutics, and this month's Self Care Saturday class was all about upper body strength and really developing an idea of what's really moving from the wrists through the elbows, the upper arm, to the shoulder socket, and then the blade, and how that kind of comes across the collarbones and into the sternum. So what was really cool in class is that as we talked about it, I started the class by saying we were all going to use the headstander. And pretty much everyone in class, all five participants were freaked out that they'd be in headstander by the end. And yet by the end, after we worked with some of the shoulder blade stuff and arm bone stuff, everybody did it beautifully. Everybody got up really safely, really steadily, and stayed there longer than they thought they would, which was great. So the whole point for us to notice is that there's probably some stickiness in our shoulder blades and the only way we'll notice that because we've gotten used to it is if there's wrist pain or if there's elbow locking it's really curious so if you know those things then do your movements from the blades themselves rather than from the arm bone so if i'm moving my arm bone right here it's really easy to do that if i have to think about moving my blade from behind it's actually a lot smaller of a motion. It's much harder for me to connect to. So when you're doing planks and down dogs, if you're doing arm balances, headstands, handstands, any of those, notice how your blades are moving in relation to how your arms move, either up in front, back behind, out to the sides, across the body, or even in rotation, and how those things go. So let me know what you think. And then if you'd like a longer view of what happened in class this past month, say the sequences, let me know. But other than that, enjoy exploring your shoulder blades. Tell me what you figure out, and we'll talk soon. Okay, ciao.